Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Just past the top of the hour, which you can check out the time here, the way we record this in the red bar in the left-hand side of the screen. Again, for right now, things are decently quiet, but as we get into later on tonight, that's where we may see the possibility of some stronger weather heading our way. We're already monitoring some thunderstorms out west around Fort Smith, western Arkansas, and back into around eastern Oklahoma, picking up most of the activity for right now. Some of that could wander its way into the Mid-South as we get into very early tomorrow morning, right about the time Todd Demers is on the air with Daybreak. We'll talk more about where, when, and how much of what we're going to be looking for coming up here in just a little bit. So stick around for your weekend ending forecast and also some very mild temperatures, but also getting chilly once again. Not quite Arctic blast territory, but it will be on the fairly cool side as we go toward the end part of next weekend. Your 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. If you're just joining us, drop your location and your weather report if you've got one, especially if you've got that thermometer outside the kitchen window, put that thing to some good use and let us know what the temperatures are like in and around downtown Memphis. West Memphis, Arkansas, Southeast Missouri, North Mississippi, wherever you are in the News Channel 3 viewing area, let us see what the weather is. Or from wherever you're located at at this point in time, whether it's in the Mid-South or points beyond, we just like to have you along for the ride. So please let us know where you're from and what the weather's doing out there, and we'll keep you updated on what's happening. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, all you have to do is look at the blue bar at the bottom of the screen, or you can go to this website, wreg.com slash weather, and will keep you updated as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South. A very mild evening coming up. And we'll continue to see some fairly mild temperatures throughout the course of the rest of the week. But we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Going to take a quick spin around the Mid-South with the cameras and then get right to the weather because we've got a lot to talk about for tonight. Live view of Baptist Soto camera in South Haven, I-55, Goodman Road. Traffic moving along pretty well at this time. No backups or problems to be seen here. Likewise, I-55 traffic from West Memphis, Arkansas, back across the old bridge looking pretty quiet. And a few joggers and strollers out today with a little bit nicer temperatures into and around the area of Big River Crossing just around the the News Channel 3 studio property there. I want to tell you about this. Some construction going on into and around Poplar and 240. You're looking at the area of, it looks like, uh, eastbound Poplar here, and then as Poplar Avenue merges onto 240, going westbound, heading south toward Park Avenue and around the Quince overpass, everything is down to about one lane at this time because of the construction going on. So this is an area you may want to think about avoiding because this traffic is backed up pretty much almost to Walnut Grove at this time, so please keep that in mind just to be on the safe side if you are traveling tonight. Let's see who we got here, Cordalro Meadows, 64 in Tunica. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Welcome to everybody else who's checking in. 63 in Henderson, uh, Tennessee, Sheila Kinchin Williams. Hope I'm reading that right. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well. 63 degrees in Oxford, Kelly Phillips. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report. And looking again across the rest of the Mid-South from areas around Sardis, Mississippi, Sam Dunnigan, thank you for joining us, Ashley Cruz, Batesville, Mississippi, Frog Jump, Tennessee, Jimmy Lyons, I don't think I've ever been there before, Jay Keesler, 61 in Bethel Springs, thank you all for all those locations and your check-in with the temperatures out there. Very mild conditions. Our normal high temperatures at this time of the year are about the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. You can see where we are right now with some of these numbers out there. U of M Earth Sciences back in the mid 60s. So we've got some very breezy conditions out there. Winds are going to be about 15 to 25 miles per hour, 25 to 35 miles per hour on the wind gusts for later on tonight. So it's going to be a little choppy. Make sure you've got a firm hand on the steering wheel, especially if you're driving east-west roadways. Those winds pushing against your vehicle could cause a some sloppy driving out there, so just pay attention to what's going on. Otherwise, some very mild temperatures in the Mid-South. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it because we've got a lot to talk about for this evening where it comes to anything involving rainfall out across the Mid-South. Let me put this into motion real quick so we can see more about what's happening. Scattered showers over eastern Arkansas, mainly from around Forest City back up to around the area 
close to about Jonesboro or so, developing and moving back toward the north-northeast. So these are going to be heading up toward the Boot Hill, mainly to the west of the river and I-55, right across I-555 between Jonesboro, Mark Tree, and down to around Osceola. Now this, again, is going to be kind of signs of things to come as we look for more potential rainfall out there. But so far, that's about it for right now. A few sprinkles earlier around Tunica, back up around Forest City, Horseshoe Lake, maybe picking up a bit of a sprinkle out there, but that's really about all that we have right now. And into around the Memphis metro area, we also still have little, if anything, outside of just that occasional sprinkle that winds up on your windshield. Now, back to the west. This is where we're seeing a lot more activity taking place. Lots of rain, lots of thunderstorms over portions of Fort Smith. Some of these have been tornadic earlier this evening around southeastern Arkansas and moving up toward western Arkansas, or southeast Oklahoma, pardon me, into western Arkansas. And this is where we're going to continue to see most of the activity coming up throughout the rest of the evening. So if you're heading west of Little Rock in the course of the next few hours, this is what you may run into, and some of this is going to go right on up into southern Missouri. So Springfield, back on up to around Kabul, Koshkanong, Willow Springs, you may wind up with some of that activity later on this evening. And anything, again, west of Little Rock and Conway could be seeing a lot of problems there. Now, more activity like this expected for later on tonight, mainly in this location, which is why the Storm Prediction Center has issued a tornado watch. By the way, the first one of the year, tornado watch number one, this is the season that begins again at this time of the year. And you can see the watch going from the Missouri state line all the way down into northeastern Texas. Now, this is not in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area. So why the heck am I telling you about this? Because we are the station that is on your side, and we want to make certain you are updated as to what goes on where it comes to the weather, especially stuff that may be heading our direction. There you go. Again, keeping you informed is what we do best and letting you know about what's going to be happening. So if you're heading west tonight, this is going to be in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. And so far, the Storm Prediction Center is not showing anything in the way of looking farther to the east yet. But it is still just a little bit past 8 o'clock. We could see more watches issued fairly close to us later on or not. It kind of depends on what they see going on out there. We've got enough in the way of thunderstorms in the way of problems right now with what's happening out here, but we may not see any development here for the next several hours, and we'll explain more about that in just a little bit. Storm system going north of us is going to be causing a lot of these thunderstorms to pop up, and there's enough moisture to get these things going, but the atmosphere isn't really exactly primed for anything involving major amounts of severe weather, especially later on tonight once we lose the daytime heating and gets a little bit closer into and around the area. This is where we see, again, the potential for some some stronger storms into and around uh, the Mid-South area. This is what we see, again, the potential for later on tonight. So again, keeping you informed on this, please use caution if you're going to be heading out to the West area at this point in time. Renee Vaughn Homewood, yes, a little variety, definitely something to where we see into and around that area. Lisa and Kevin Coates, thanks for joining us from Mark Tree out there. Uh, Horn Lake, South Haven Walls get rain about 3 or 4 o'clock. Anita Rogers, yes, that sounds pretty good. We'll time that out for you coming up here in just a little bit. Charleston, Mississippi, Louise Hargett, Hargett, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks for joining us. Christy Brock from Austin, Texas. Say hello to several of my friends from Topeka West High School who live down that direction. And Shiloh Taub, I hope I'm saying that right. Taubey, 65 in Millington. Uh, see Lafayette in 45, Ramsey Flowers. Not too sure exactly if that's the temperature. I hope not. Otherwise, you may have a broken thermometer. And thanks to everybody else for checking in. Jeff Livingston from Eads, Tennessee, 64. And Calm at the Morning, 66 in Dundee, Florida. Laura Cook Gorman, thank you very much uh, for checking in from down that direction at this time. Here's what it looks like for tonight. Walking you through this hour by hour, this is going to, again, be the possibility of seeing some uh, pretty quiet conditions across much of the Mid-South area for this evening. By News Channel 3 at 10, mainly scattered showers back to the west of the Mississippi River, eastern Arkansas, southern Missouri, picking up a good portion of this into the early evening hours. Then we go past about midnight, and that's where we start to see that line of thunderstorms continue to develop back across western Arkansas, moving toward the central part of the state, and it doesn't look like right now, according to the best forecast that we've got on the uh, the updated models for the short-term, the high-resolution rapid refresh, or the HRRR that we use for this, 
is showing again most of this activity just west of the News Channel 3 viewing area counties in eastern Arkansas by about 3 o'clock this morning. And that, or into tomorrow morning, I should say, uh, at this point in time. Uh, Rhonda Ferguson, Coldwater, Mississippi, what time? Thank you very much. 64 degrees and warm in Bartlett. Paulette Anders, thank you very much uh, from this one. David Do Dover, shout out from Lepanto. Thank you very much uh, from checking in. Thanks to everybody else for dropping in. Your locations and your weather reports, if you have them, drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're from and what the conditions are where you're at. Now, by tomorrow morning, again, heading into the Mid-South by about 3 o'clock in the morning through eastern Arkansas, right into the metro area about the time we're on the air with News Channel 3 Daybreak. Now, at this point in time, hopefully, again, the system has started to run out of steam by just enough to make certain we don't get a severe weather outbreak taking place, but I would not be surprised if we saw maybe a severe thunderstorm watch issued in the next several hours, but no indications of that going on immediately. Later on tonight, that could be a thing, so if you're watching this netcast, via delayed time and you're watching it say after news channel 3 at 10 keep it tuned to us throughout the rest of the evening and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on there again through the early hours if you're commuting to work or school that's where we're going to see the problem gusty winds maybe some brief heavy rainfall coming on down and that could add some time to your commute Definitely want to take some extra time to make certain that you are safe out there by allowing for a lot of extra time tomorrow. Treat this like a winter weather scenario. Give yourself enough time to get up, kind of gauge how the roadways are doing, judge for yourself how much time it's going to take, but add some extra time to your commute and don't be in a rush tomorrow. Could be one of the worst mistakes you can make and lead to a lot of boring conversations with your insurance agent. So something to try to avoid by driving carefully and smartly out there. So something to watch out for. Now notice the temperatures again, mid to upper 50s. Not seeing a problem with anything involving frozen precipitation. It's just entirely too warm out there for right now. Uh, Phyllis McRae, at least it isn't snow. Like that attitude. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, again, snowfall looks like we can see at the possibility of way in the future, not seeing anything else at this time. Donna Hendren Reed from Jackson, Tennessee, 64 degrees, 61 warm in Brighton. Sam Caldwell Shepard, thank you very much uh, for that one. Jerry Swearingen from Foley, Alabama, haven't been down that way in quite some time. And Dyersburg, 60 degrees. Nancy Bell, uh, thank you very much. And Kim Rushing Vanderford, mosquitoes in Corinth. That's not really what I wanted to hear in January, but thank you very much for sharing that. Most of the Mid-South getting rainfall into tomorrow morning, about the time we get up and get going. Through rush hour, unfortunately, by the time we hit about News Channel 3 live at 9, the heaviest stuff should be crossing the Tennessee River and moving its way into Middle Tennessee and northern parts of Alabama. And then through about lunchtime, the rain chances, light rainfall chances, diminishing rainfall chances will be sticking around the Mid-South. Notice the temperatures once again way above freezing, so very mild into the rest of the day and staying that way. Now, through about dismissal time into the early part of tomorrow afternoon, kids heading back to school tomorrow. Again, hopefully the rain moves out of here by the time we get into around dismissal time for the kids, but there could be some lingering showers, especially into around the Tennessee River, northeast areas of Mississippi, and maybe a portion of southwest Tennessee. But beyond that, that's going to be it for the rainfall right on through News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow night. And be sure to join Jim Jaggers with more on the forecast. It will be a little cooler into the course of the next couple of days, but once again, not looking at anything in the way of an Arctic blast taking place. Now, tonight into very early tomorrow morning, <coughs> excuse me, the main threat we're looking at is going to be in the yellow shaded category right here. Again, that's a slight risk category. It does not mean a severe weather outbreak. It just means that this is going to be the best target area for severe weather tonight. And that's going to be, again, most of Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma, northeast corner of Texas, and northwestern extreme Louisiana. So the worst severe weather should be happening here into the next few hours. We're expecting an update from the Storm Prediction Center within the next couple of hours. Once this updates, we'll give you that as soon as we can on, again, our social media channel. So stay tuned for more there. Now, into around the mid south area this is something to pay attention to because we have the marginal a lesser threat of severe weather in the green and again this will be updated in the next few hours the worst threat back around little rock conway Clarksville into around Fort Smith, Fayetteville, down toward Mena, Dequeen, Texarkana, into that area. But if you're in Forest City, 
Helena, West Helena, Jonesboro, uh, into around Marvell, toward about the area close to around uh, Hughes. You're going to need to be paying attention to this as you'll be kind of on the eastern edge of this for later on tonight and into very early tomorrow morning. Now, the very light green category that you're seeing here over the rest of the Mid-South, just generic thunderstorms, not a threat of severe weather. But again, that leading edge right there kind of gives me pause for thought to say this is something we need to pay attention to as that threat moves into our area late tonight past midnight. So we could see again the potential for some strong storms. I don't think we're going to be seeing the possibility of anything major taking place, but it is still a possibility. So we definitely need again to watch that for right now. Robert L. Dunahoo, 61 in Dyer. Thank you very much. DJ Weaver, at least it's not cold. Marion, Arkansas. See, that's the that's the correct attitude to have right there. Make certain that you're not in the snow and ice out in that direction. And Michael, Amanda Rickman, glad there is no snow. Yeah, as right now. And Anita Rogers wants some snow. Well, we'll do our best on that forecast, but no guarantees on that anytime soon. Tomorrow's chance of thunderstorms, again, it says Sunday into Monday, but toward tomorrow, the threat leaves us down to the south and to the east. So that's going to be it for the chances of severe weather. And then by Tuesday, the threat is basically pretty much almost gone at this time. So little of anything winding up there. Lows tonight, not all that low, mid to upper 50s, so no Arctic outbreak here, but back in the lower 60s for Monday. Starting off with rain and thunder, showers by lunchtime, clearing skies as we get into dinner time and afterwards. Back in the mid to upper 40s for highs on Tuesday, so a little bit on the brisk side out across the Mid-South. And waiting for the school bus early Wednesday morning could be a bit on the chilly side. Now, again, getting back to normal, these temperatures right here, this is about as close to this time for the year of normal as you can get. It's about as mid to late January as you can possibly be for the Mid-South, so pretty close to exactly where we should be into and around the area with temperatures, again, the upper 40s to around the lower 50s. Rest of the week, mid to upper 50s for highs. Again, not too bad out there and temperatures increasing, but then so are our chances of rainfall. And by next weekend, maybe seeing the possibility of some more showers coming on through. Now, it doesn't look like much again right now, but we may see that potential of some more showers taking place, maybe some more thunderstorms, but again, this far out, it is just a little bit on the hard-to-say side for the time being and not seeing, again, a lot of activity going on out across the area. You need you need some help with those? or Okay, just... This is Corey, Corey Ventura moving some thermoses through the mids, through the studio at this point in time, in case you were wondering. But that's okay. We we, we we do our best with all sorts of interesting right there. Are those for sale, or are you just moving them in for right now? Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, Corey Ventura, everybody, passing on through. She'll be back tomorrow morning uh, for updates you on traffic, which could be a little busy into tomorrow. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that coming up a little bit later on. Again, stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the evening. Does not look like much coming up throughout the rest of the Mid-South for the immediate hours, but later on definitely could be. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures over the last couple of days. Peace Tree UMC. Great view of Collierville United Methodist Church when the snow is coming down a couple of days ago. Very picturesque shot from out in Collierville. Nice view of way above Overton Park. Thank you very much, Ripple1026, for a nice view of Overton Park right after the snow stopped falling and the gray skies kind of stuck around for a little bit. So a nice little winter wonderland going out on this particular view. And from Raising Girls, at the farm. Not too sure where this was at, but uh, again, thanks a lot for a great shot of an afternoon sunset light into around the farm area. So a great view into around that location. If you've got pictures, we want to see them so we can feature them on netcast like this or on social media, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So if you've got them, let's go ahead and pass them along and we'd love to be able to see them out there. You can send them to me on my Facebook page, on Twitter at Aonic, <coughs> excuse me, underscore WREG3. And also Aonic, no underscore necessary, WRIG3 on Instagram. Several other social media networks out there as well, so you can catch me as well on those. East Arkansas broadcast network stations throughout the rest of the weekend. And catch me on air with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning starting at 8 a.m. on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Talk back live, mostly sports chat, but a whole bunch of other neat stuff going on there. So we'll keep you updated. And, of course, Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on Daybreak, and that starts at 4.30. We'll have an update on the forecast. We are on time tonight, so we'll have the 
news at 10 at 10 o'clock rather than the late edition, so join us for that. And coming up here in just about another 10 minutes or so, past about 8.30, I'll have an update on my particular Facebook page, so you can join me there. We'll also talk about whether where the troops are, if you have friends or loved ones stationed around the world at various American military posts, we'll take a look at weather nearby those locations so it kind of connects you a little bit better with friends and loved ones who are overseas and give you a better idea as to what the conditions are out there around the rest of the world. So a nice little way to kind of connect with your friends and loved ones overseas on that. We'll have more on that coming up here in just about 10 minutes or so on my Facebook page, also on Periscope and Twitter. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. And of course, News Channel 3 at 10. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news, and Mike Sadie has a very busy day in sports and a very ugly day for anybody who hates the Patriots. So if you're one of those people who was rooting for Jacksonville, got a lot to talk about for later on tonight, and Mike was also not quite excited that the Patriots got back in again, but he'll have more on that coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of Weather Overtime on our main Facebook page. A lot more coming up throughout the evening should we have severe weather, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest updates, and thank Thanks for joining us on tonight's Sunday evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.